everybody, since uh, I'm kind of fresh off of just doing another zine, uh, I thought it'd be interesting, and a couple people have, have actually expressed interest in me showing how to put together some uh, pagination for a zine. Um, so what we're doing right now is basically folding an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper in half, and then folding in half again, creating quarters. And uh, what this does is basically get us down to the, the finished page size. Uh, but the, I think the, a lot of the confusion actually comes into the actually putting the page together, uh, say in a program like InDesign or something, or where if you're going to be doing this analog, you can always put uh, glue sticks together uh, and uh, you know paste stuff in, but to see how this works. And actually what I'm showing right now is my how to make a zine zine that I did a workshop at the Upfair. Uh, it actually has these quarter page and uh, you know half page collation kind of uh, templates put in there. And I'm actually going to put a PDF of that along with the show notes so you can kind of see how exactly that works because uh, it can be a little bit confusing but basically what I'm doing right here is showing on a eight and a half by eleven piece of paper uh, how the pagination would work so you'd have page one uh, page eight then we go six three uh, and then on the opposite side since you'd be doing a double-sided copy you have two seven four and five and next basically what we would do here is uh, is cut this in half which uh, look at this magic of a video we're gonna cut this in half and then this is basically going to be the guts for an eight-page book uh, and how this would go together so once you fold it together you can kinda of see how it starts to come together but somebody that's never done this before this can be quite confusing uh, I used to actually take books apart to figure out how things worked you know, take apart like an old floppy comic. And these are the actual drawings that, uh, the sketches that I did for the, for the zine, just so you can kind of see where I was coming from. I took these, uh, scanned them in, and then kind of made them to the correct size, um, which is quarter page for the scene. So now going to InDesign. I apologize for having to take a picture of the computer, but there you go. Uh, so I go into create uh, a new page, basically. And this is just set up for a vertical 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Uh, and what I do for, especially for something like this that's basically a photocopied zine, uh, not, I'm not dealing with any kind of cut marks or anything. Um, so what I do is basically just create uh, two different guides, one vertical, one horizontal, basically, you know, quartering the page. Uh, if this was something a little bit more complicated where I'm sending it to a printer and dealing with actual crop marks and guides, I would be a little bit more... Uh, precise but for this we're basically cutting the piece of paper directly in half so what I do now is go to get place or go in uh, place image uh, it's actually the Apple D button and that'll pop up an image uh, from whatever you know folder you might have it in uh, and then you'll basically just place it directly on the page you can scale it as well but these are actually in Photoshop I made these the correct size so I wouldn't have to basically deal with any kind of scaling issues and something like this, it's a little bit more straightforward. Uh, there's not, it's not a comics page to where it necessarily matters that much exactly where, uh, in what order this is happening. Um, but what we're seeing here is basically page one, the, the Charles Bronson, the upper right hand corner, that would be page one. Uh, for the intents of this, for the actual zine, it's a little bit different, but it, it, you get the idea here. Uh, and then for the second page, we actually go over to the page palette, click add new. And um, click on and, and basically just create another page below it, which would be the double sided um, version of this of this photocopy for an eight page book. And here I'm just basically plopping all these images in. Uh, this is something you could probably also do in a program like um, like Microsoft Word or you could might even be able to do it in a Google Doc. I'm not sure, but uh, you definitely don't have to have a program like this to do. Uh, to put the pagination together. Now what I'm doing now is going to file and then export as PDF. Uh, and when I export as PDF, I like to do the press quality, which is a, a higher quality than, say, like the web web uh, version here. And there's lots of different options for, for things you can do um, for different, you know, for colors, for CMYK, for your guides and everything. For the purpose of this, it doesn't necessarily matter. The, the presets for the press quality are quite good. And so what I did there is export that to PDF. And now we're opening it up on the desktop. So you can see it's basically four images. Once I print this out on double-sided copy and cut it in half, we're going to have our pages. 
and here is the the, the fruit of our labor. Those uh, that was the one page cut in half, and now what I'm doing is uh, is basically taking the cover, which is a very similar um, process. Which is basically for the cover, they'll have two different or two of the same covers printed on the page there, and then cut those in half. And then we've got a long arm stapler, which is a, a pretty much a necessity if you're going to be putting this stuff together yourself. Way cheaper than having like a Kinko's or a mom and pop copy shop put the stuff together for you. Uh, this one I think cost me about maybe 24, 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, the thing here is the, the adjustment that I'm messing with basically kind of acts as a stop so you can get the staple directly on the spine. And this is something that there's, there's measurements on it, but it doesn't necessarily always line up perfectly. So it takes a little bit of, uh, of adjustment to really get this thing right. And then once this is set up, uh, I basically kind of truck through my entire pile of, uh, of comics or zines, uh, fold it. You can use a bone folder, something that I found is cooler and uh, cheaper and uh, doesn't take whale bones. Most of them are plastic anyways, but use a guitar pick, a heavy gauge guitar pick to kind of crease that edge for you. And there we go, a zine.